the sailfish and the bonefish. Starting the artwork on Cat's Pelican Air case. So this side, I'm drawing the dorsal fin of the sailfish. For this project, initially I thought of using markers, uh, either Sharpies or the Posca markers. I bought a bunch of them, anticipating to use them. But then after a while, I thought maybe I'll, I'll use paint on this project. So I ended up buying these Angelus paints. I'll show you guys the colors that I use for this project at the end of the video. I'm not sure yet what are all the colors that I'll be using as of now. I should have a much better picture after I finish the project on the colors that I end up using. So here I'm painting the base color. I have a feeling I may not need to actually paint this white base color, but this project is kind of experimental. So I was thinking, you know, the white may be a good idea because it will make whatever color I put on top stand out more, a bit more vivid and bright. Some of the problems I discovered with this Angelus paint is you cannot paint too thick because it will start to smudge and all. So the recommended method is to paint thin layers, wait for it dry and then paint another layer and so on. Time to draw some more. thing about doing that is it just takes more time. You know? I guess I could use a blow dryer or heat gun. While waiting for the sailfish white base layer paint to dry, I drew the bonefish on the top part of the travel case. First I drew the outline. I looked at this drawing after I finished it and I felt maybe I could have drawn it, uh, the fish, uh, a little bit bigger, you know. So if you do make it to the end of the video, let me know what you think. Do you think I should have made it bigger or it looks fine the way it is? Cleaning up the surface, prepping it for the painting part. This is me just looking at it and contemplating how I want to start painting. <laughs> and then I again painted the white undercoat to it. And then here I'm starting to paint the actual colors. For the sailfish, started with a light blue, then I use a navy blue to draw out the outlines, or rather the spines of the dorsal fin. I actually mix some of the paint, it's light blue, dark blue, some purple, trying to highlight the, because the dorsal fin of the sailfish can be really striking. Some of them appear to be mostly black. You know. But every now and then, we get those that are lit up bright, electric blue and purplish. Purposely left a hole in a part of the fin there. And then added those dots to complete this sailfish fin art. What do you think of it? This is really turning out to be a one of a kind pelican travel case for cat. Really hope he likes what he sees. I'm done with the sailfish side. I'm quite happy with how it turned out. But art is subjective, you know. So the real test is what others think about it. So next thing is to finish off the bonefish. Here we go with the bonefish. So before I forget, I better draw the fly first. So the I've drawn this bonefish on the iPad before. But that's considerably easier compared to what I'm doing here because the iPad you can easily erase and make corrections you know with this painting is a lot more trickier from the get-go I know due to my experience drawing the same fish art earlier on the iPad I know the skills of the bonefish will be really tricky I could actually go the shortcut way and just make simple lines you know but it's the little details that come in the end so here we go, drawing skills one by one, hopefully it turns out good. There's a lot of thinking actually 
I'm called I'm painting this. Do I try to make it more silverish, more whitish, more greyish, more greenish? Because that's how the bonefish are, you know, they, they are like a mirror on the flats and they can reflect all kinds of shades. I'm mixing some shades of green here. Here I'm putting on some speckles or dots to get the effect of the flats, you know, the sandy bottom of the flats. Here I'm painting some grey tones uh, mixed with some green as well. This part here, I don't know how to describe this, but we often see this on the bone fish. They look like stripes, but they do come in on and off the intensity I have a feeling is a form of camouflage that the bonefish uses when they are around the grassy part of the flats when they are along the bottom foraging for food predators from above will find it harder to spot them with these ripes they sort of blend in adding more details I think the scale is a bit more defined Using a bit of markers as well. Putting some finishing touches to the fly, some details there. And then more details to the scales, highlights, and the shadows. Here I'm drawing some turtle grass. Getting close to completing this artwork here. So I had to stop for a couple of days while I waited for these new brushes to arrive, which I got online. So much uh, finer thick brushes. So now I can put the finishing touches on it and I think we'll be done. This uh, finer brush, finer tip brush really helped me. <laughs> I was struggling a bit earlier. Like I say I haven't painted for a while so needed to buy all this over again. I have to say, I quite enjoy doing this painting again. It's uh, kind of therapeutic, you know. It's all done. The sailfish and the bonefish. How do you like it? Just one more step to go. Before that, I'm going to show you the paint materials that I use to do this art. I'm going to show you the colors that I used on this project. But before that, I did use some Sharpie markers, but just a little. Mostly it was the Angelus acrylic paint. So these are all the colors that I used. Shades of blue, purple, some shades of green, black, shades of grey and white. In order to give the artwork some protection, using this clear coat, spray on top of the artwork. And watch Cat Shakir's reaction when he came and picked up the, his travel case. Hola, ma. Ah, dia punya Baby. signature. Ah, dah signature. Saya lupa tau. Mula-mula. Yeah. Lepas you text, saya baru tulis. Ini <laughs> 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 ketia saya kan, batu besar sikit. 
Takpe lah, ni tepi pun ada Ah, asal sini Cantik lah eh. Ni lain sikit lah, sebab thank saya betul-betul buat painting lah ni Dulu ah. saya buat banyak saya pakai marker Ini ah, sebab saya spray tu yeah, clear yeah. coat lah Clear coat kan So saya pun tak pasti dia macam mana Saya mau jaga dia, kali mau net flat saya wrap dulu <laughs> Spot tak kacau <laughs> Tapi ada jual film 